Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Deb's Way and I am Deb. And it is a wonderful, sunny, not too hot day in Central Florida today. I'm out running errands. William stayed home. Um, he just felt like he wanted to have a lazy day at home, so that's fine with me. I do enjoy going out on my own every now and then and see what I can get into and see what fun I can have on my own. So I'm having a little me morning. <laughs> but the first stop, and part of the reason why William didn't come along with me is because I have to stop here at the doctor's office for a little quick check. No problem, but it's just a quick stop. And then I'm gonna go out and do some shopping or, you know, looking around. Don't really have anything in mind to buy, but I'm gonna go, I think, to Hobby Lobby and take a look. I haven't been there in quite a while. See what they've got new and check out patterns back in the sewing area. And we'll see what else I can get into today. Okay, so hang with me, okay? We'll see what we can do. This is an aisle. I'm at Hobby Lobby now. This is an aisle set up for the 50s look. But I came across these and I thought, how nice, nice and springy and colorful. I even like this one. But they have all sorts of pastel colored goods. This reminds me of in the 50s, like even a small ice cube tray. And right next to it is a larger ice cube tray. And they're they're made out of silicon. I messed that up, I put it back. Look at the pastel colors. And even small appliances. Like electric uh, ceramic kettle, toasters. Popcorn poppers, waffle bowl maker, even an air fryer. 1.2 quart, not that small. Blenders, mixers, a little slow cooker. Reminds me of the 50s. Oh, even an egg cooker. Now these are nice little egg cookers. Yeah. getting ready for Easter. All sorts of supplies here. Oh, here we come some more. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm sorts of Easter crafts. A lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff. I never really decorated for St. Patty's Day. Even when I was working, we didn't really dress up. Maybe if we wore a little green on that day, but that's it. And look at the little craft ideas, little chickies. Little chickies, little chickies, bigger size chickies, and then little rabbits, cute. All sorts of little Easter items for craft ideas. <laughs> I like this. Bunny clips.
I wonder if this would fit Ginger. Well, maybe over her whole body. And we have goods for Memorial Day, I suppose, or 4th of July already. And more spring, Easter type of decoration, statues, Easter baskets, ornaments. See anything you like? Nice Americana displays. This is very lightweight, actually. Flat on one side. <laughs> Home of the wild, wild west. I know this is just yard or house ornamentation, but I remember my little red wagon. Coming into the nice fabric department. It is quite large. One thing I see that they're missing is there, there's no bargain bin out front. We used to put a bargain bin out front of material that was really marked down low. Not anymore. Hi everybody. Well, I'm home now and I had a great time out and around on my little me adventure. I did end up meeting my brother and sister-in-law. We had a brunch out and it was a nice little visit again. I've seen them now for what, three times in the past few days, which is more than I've seen them in the past few months actually. <laughs> but anyway, it was good. And um, then I went uh, on my little shopping trips. Made a few stops. I went to a Dollar Tree and a Dollar General, a Hobby Lobby, and then I stopped at Publix on the way home to pick up a sub sandwich for a late lunch for us. And we, as a matter of fact, William just finished eating. So we will have a very late, light supper for sure. But I thought I'd show you what I got at uh, all my adventures, and I, I can't tell you which store I got these from. I kind of unpackaged things on the dining room table here, and I've got them in front of me to go through and show you. So these items I know came from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I, I loved shopping through Hobby Lobby. I, I really do enjoy Hobby Lobby a lot. By the time I made it there though, for some reason I just wasn't in the mood to do any shopping anymore. I didn't buy a thing at Hobby Lobby. 
but I love seeing all the holiday decorations that they had out, you know, for Easter and St. Patrick's Day yet. Summer goods starting to come out, you know, summer decorations. And all the fabric in their uh, little sewing area. That was really nice to see. So I'll go back another day and I know I will buy. I just wasn't in the mood by the time I made it there. But what I did find, um, let's see here, let me show you. Now keep in mind, yes, I do love the scent of vanilla very much. I think it's vanilla would be my number one choice. Cinnamon something would be my second. Rose probably third. And then lighter scents after that. But I found this, what is this? A luminescence candle. Let me open the box here. It's a vanilla scent and it, it smells really good. It's in a glass bottle. So I thought when this is all burnt out, I can refill this and reuse it. So I got this for now. Mm, like I said, it really does smell very, very good. Very aromatic for a dollar. You know, that's not bad for that. So I have that to burn. And then I found this uh, same brand. It's Lumen Essence for the candle brand. This one is called Cinnamon Spiced. And it comes in a little mason jar with a nice lid to it. Unscrew that. It's a very strong cinnamon, but it, you know, it's not bad. I do like the scent. And I guess I figured that it's a regular mason jar. I could use it for something else, if not another candle. So I got that one. And I also am in need of this, so I just picked it up. I figured, oh, you know what, a dollar, and this is a really good size. It's a 16 ounce, one pound box size of baking soda. Yeah, I'll use this one. And some slider seal bags. And these are the, what size are they? They're, they're big size. And it doesn't say quart or anything like that, just storage bag. Yes, it does. Gallon size storage bags, nine of them in the box for a dollar. And it's the zipper. I do like the zipper. I don't like those, the bags that you kind of push to seal, you know, because I can't get them to seal all the time, totally. So I prefer the zipper. And then of course, I always go for this kind of stuff. Any type of office supplies, you know, I, I have to get it. So I found these little writing tablets, very nice thick ones too. And yeah, I put my lists on these. When I go shopping, grocery shopping, whatever, I put a list on here. Things to do today, I put it on paper. And on my, my daily organizer, I use this a lot. You know, I'll write down appointments and those appointments may change, so I have to white it out and put down what the corrected part, or what the corrected information is. So yes, I got another thing of white out or correction tape. This works really well. So I've replenished my supply there. That's what I did between Dollar Tree and Dollar General and Hobby Lobby. That was my shopping spree for the day. I enjoyed it. You know, it's a beautiful day, bright and sunny, and it's not too humid yet. So I got out and enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a great day out there. You take care. We'll be talking to you again real soon, but it's going to be bye for this time around. Okay, bye for now.